Hi, this is Cynthia, your voice coach. In my work with my clients, a lot of voice problems are linked closely to what's happening inside, which is your personality. And to help you further work on yourself, today I have invited someone who is specialized in the personality. And the two which I love most, if you are my client, you probably heard me saying this a lot of times. And the personality tool is Enneagram. And the expert I invited is Granville. Thank you, Cynthia. It was a pleasure doing this session with you as well. So my name is Dr. Granville D'Souza. And what I specialize in is emotional intelligence and the Enneagram. And I've been using this for the last 10 years. Um, there's so much to say about the Enneagram, but maybe I should just introduce it uh, in a short way. So Enneagram means nine and gram means sometimes a figure or a representation of how these nine types are drawn. Now what's really special about the Enneagram is that it's about nine ways of looking at the world. So if we look at say nine different kinds of people or nine different kinds of personalities, these nine personalities look at the world in a very different way. Mm -hmm. um, they could have certain beliefs, they could have certain thoughts, they could have certain perceptions and certain kinds of negative ways of looking at life and positive ways of looking at life. And these nine different types tend to do it so differently that it almost really puts them in a box. And I think the, the gift behind this whole system is because they do it so differently, and if we understand how each of these nine people do it differently, then I think we'll be able to work with people in a very effective way. So, for example, say the ones, I'm not just going to do the ones, although there's a lot to say about the rest of, of the types. Okay. The ones are what we call the perfectionists. Mm -hmm. And as ones, they want to make things better, they want to improve things, they look out for things which are not working well, and they're just wanting to be the best they can be. Mm -hmm. So all the other eight types don't really behave like the one. Okay. And the one does it so uniquely that how they look at life is just really how do I make life a lot better. Okay. So I'll stop there with regards to, say, Enneagram. And uh, I'd just like to say why I think this is going to be a special session with Cynthia. Because Cynthia happens to be a voice coach. And she specializes in voice coaching in the region. Um, and the region actually spans quite a lot of different places. The uniqueness of this session is using the Enneagram with voice. Mm -hmm. Something which I've not really seen being done by someone else. Mm -hmm. So she's really an expert in this area. I specialize in this area and she knows a lot about the Enneagram already. And I think if you know about the Enneagram and you, you start working on your voice, this can be a great gift for, for you. Granville, how can it be that for the whole world, there are only nine types of people. Yes. In fact, uh, that's a question I used to ask myself when I was studying the Enneagram. How did the gurus think that there were only nine types and how did they discover that there were only really nine types when they actually we meet uh, millions of people around? Yeah. Um, what I also read and found out from, say, people like Jerry Wagner, who's one of the foremost experts on Enneagram, is mm -hmm. that tons of interviews were done uh, for them to separate these people into nine different types. But if you look closely at the Enneagram as well, and maybe say subtypes. Mm -hmm. So subtypes, there are three different subtypes of what we call instincts for each type. And you've got the sexual instinct, you've got the social instinct, and you've got the um, self-preservation instinct. So in a way, we can talk about 27 different types, because mm -hmm. that gets really confusing. <laughs> uh, before even people get to know about the Enneagram, they are talking about, say, 27 different types. So I'm not going to go there. but. In the Enneagram itself, there are nine core different personalities. Mm -hmm. You could either look at these subtypes, which says 27 different shades, or three different shades of each type. Mm -hmm. Or we could look at the wings. So the wings, very simply, for those who are not familiar with the Enneagram yet, um, just beside your core type, there's two other numbers. So maybe if you're a type nine, mm -hmm. uh, beside nine, there's eight and there's one. Mm -hmm. So you could have a little shade of an eight, or you could have a little shade of a one as well. Mm -hmm. So just based on my experience, it's not very precise that that shade could be 20% or that shade could be 30%. Sometimes that shade could be 40% or that shade could be 50%. Mm -hmm. So I think in a simple way, what we could talk about, say, types, is looking at your core type, and you may start to display a little bit of the other type. Mm -hmm. on your side, which could be on the left-hand side or the right-hand side. For example, if it's a 9, it might be a little bit of an 8, or it could be a little bit of a 1. Mm -hmm. So it's, it may not necessarily be just 9 types. If we go deeper into the Enneagram, you, you know that there's a little bit of that, that shades that we could talk about. 
But generally, if you know the nine types, I think you are really on your road to understanding personal personality pretty well.、Mm, okay. How can Enneagram help the professionals? Yes,、uh, the Enneagram can help us understand a lot of the deep beliefs that we have, the different thoughts that we have, the different behaviors that we're actually living. When I first studied the Enneagram, it was able to identify some of the areas in my life which I would have never seen.、Mm. Like these are really hidden. Talk about say blind spots. There were major blind spots, but I could never see that.、Yeah. So what the Enneagram is able to do is to identify which are the potential areas which you might be living on the more resor- unresourceful side of your life, and be able to identify these areas. And then it also gives you a roadmap as to how you can move、uh, from these blind spots. So again. Identify your blind spots and be able to know exactly what you can do to address these blind spots.、Um, what the enneagram also does, it tells you about resourcefulness and unresourcefulness. So, for example, if we know what are resourceful areas, then we know there are some things that are working in our lives. We don't really have to do much about this.、Mm-hmm. And then it talks about the unresourceful areas of your life. And if you know what these unresourceful areas, then you know there's a clear roadmap、mm-hmm. about where you should be starting and what else you need to do as soon as you've actually dealt. With that unresourceful point,、mm, okay. so there's really a lot you can learn from it. Yeah, very helpful. Thank you, Grandville. How is Enneagram different from other profiling tools? Right. You know, I've used a lot of different kinds of profiling tools, whether it's EQ profiling tools.、Uh, we can talk about the MBTI, and I'm not going to really say which is better than the other one. But of course, my first love is the Enneagram. <laughs>、uh, that goes without saying. <laughs> Now, what I can say about the Enneagram is it really gets you to look at the way you're thinking, and how you're feeling,、mm-hmm. and even your intuition. I've no no other tool which actually goes into depth about your thought structure, the way you're feeling, and again、uh, your intuition. And when the three are in sync, it actually shows. Like in profiling, it shows whether it's in sync or whether you're on the negative side of your thinking. Or whether you could be on the negative side of your feeling, or perhaps not using enough in, of your intuition.、Mm. Uh, what I would think is balance is if you are using as much of your thinking, your feelings, and say your intuition.、Mm-hmm. And just through profiling in the enneagram, it may identify that you're not using one of these great abilities that we are naturally endowed to use:、mm. our thoughts, our feelings, and our behaviors. And just in case we we need to understand, like why should I use my thoughts, my feelings, and my behaviors? Because your thoughts do affect the way we feel,、mm. and our feelings and our thoughts affect our behaviors.、Mm. So we are just constantly and consistently just using one ability. Then we could be probably just not maximizing on what we truly have,、yeah. in terms of getting the best results from our life.、Mm. Okay, how do people misunderstand enneagram? You know,、uh, frequently in class, people do ask me questions like, you know, why should we put people in a box? And、uh, it's almost like say stereotyping. Why do we want to stereotype people to nine different types? And I think what people need to understand is is that we are already in a box.、Mm. And if we are already in a box, why not we choose to understand this box? Because each of these boxes are very distinct. Like、mm. just like yourself, you're a nine. I'm a seven. And we are really quite different in many ways. The way we think and what we fear and what we are really passionate about and how we choose to look at life is really quite different. So I think what people need to accept is that we are quite different. Why、mm. not we choose to understand those lenses? And if we understand those lenses, then way we we look at other people could be quite different too, because we are actually already stereotyping. And people don't seem to understand that when they say, you know, why should I stereotype? We're already <laughs> stereotyping. And I think we should just、uh, grapple with that fact that once we do, maybe it's time to understand this this huge box which everyone has. Yeah, and is in already rather. <laughs> I think we're already in it. Why not we just understand it? Yeah, that's a very fresh perspective. Thank you. Where can they find out more on Enneagram? Sure. Well, one of the sources they can go to is Jerry Wagner's、uh, website. Now, Jerry Wagner is one of the foremost experts on the Enneagram, and he's been teaching the Enneagram since 1971. Wow, almost the day of my birth. <laughs> 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 and、uh, so he comes here for certifications. In fact, he was just here last month. He conducted the. Level one and the、uh, advanced certification. So he comes here once a year.、Okay. Now, for those who are just getting to know the enneagram, I highly advise they come for a workshop. And I do conduct workshops、uh, from sometimes maybe once in two months or sometimes once in three months. I'm trying to make it more regular. And what they could do is go to www. eqasia. com. So again, www. eqasia. com, and you'll be able to see、uh, the scheduled workshops. I do highly recommend that you come for one of them, and、uh, we will be publishing some of those dates.、Hmm. 
How does an Enneagram workshop look like? Well, I think for an introductory workshop, I would take about two days to do this. And because it is very rich and deep, I mean, just, just for the sake of understanding how deep the Enneagram can be, I've actually gone for six-day workshops, seven-day workshops, and in the U.S., there's one that's going on for 27 days. Wow. So just for people to know that there's a lot to know about the Enneagram. But I think it's an introduction. We would have two days. Mm -hmm. And the first day is getting to know about the nine types. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do a lot of different kinds of interviews, panel interviews, uh, pick people up and, and get them to share what are some of the challenges they're facing and what are the some, some of the things they're really passionate about. So really, the first day is all about getting to know about these nine types. Now, the next day is when it gets really fun, and that's where the application is. And one aspect I do cover is Enneagram and relationships. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if you're a type 1 and you are married to a type 8, <laughs> or if you're a type 6 and you're married to a type 2, what could be the potential challenges you're facing? The other one is what could be the, the areas of commonality which I think both can enjoy. Mm. Other aspects is at work, you know, when you're having to deal with a particular type, what could be the potential challenges? Mm. Uh, we also look at blind spots. So, for example, if you're a certain type, what are your typical blind spots and how you need to address them? Mm. As well as beginning to address all the different issues that you're facing in your life. Mm. So, that sounds like a real handful. Yeah. Uh, there's actually really a lot. I'm just mentioning a few different things. And I'm really very open. So, as a seven, in my workshop, it does get pretty berserk. <laughs> uh, people will just probably do different things at, at points where it was not really intended. So, we may have just some special events based on requests, uh -huh. and I will just do them on the spot. Yeah. So, it's really quite a playful workshop on day two, but day one is, is truly understanding the essence of the Enneagram. Mm. Okay. I hope you have gotten a better idea of what Enneagram is and how Enneagram might help you. And you can follow the link to find out more on Enneagram. This is Cynthia, your voice coach. See you next time.